In this lecture, I'm going to introduce you to a new type of structural formula known as the skeletal formula. By the end of this lecture, you should be able to convert between structural and skeletal formulae for molecules with no more than 10 carbon atoms in their longest chain. So, we've reminded ourselves about molecular formulas shortened structural formulas and full structural formulas. So the new type of structural formula I want to introduce you to in this lecture is the skeletal formula. Okay. So the skeletal formula of butane is this. Okay, so the skeletal formula, every kink in the chain represents a carbon atom as does the end of a line. So we've got four carbon atoms here. One, two, three, four. And we don't show any of the hydrogens di directly bonded to a carbon, which in this case is all the hydrogens. So this is the skeletal formula for butane. So it's quite straightforward, you just need a little bit of practice. So. Again, I'd like you to pause the tape after reading the question, try and answer the question, and then I'll reveal the answer. So draw the full structural formula and name this following compound. Okay, so pause the lecture, try it yourself. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six carbons in this molecule. Uh, so we've got hexane and there's its full structural formula. Okay, how about this one? Okay, our main chain's got one, two, three, four, five carbons, and we've got one carbon here as a side group. So what we've got is three methyl pentane. Okay, try this one. Again, we've got a branched hydrocarbon. Main chain's got three carbons on it. The branch has just got the one. So in fact, it's two methyl propane. Right. This time we've got an alcohol. The main chain's got one, two, three, four, five, six carbons. So we've got hex and two all. Fifth one, try this one. Okay, so our main chain, one, two, three, four, five carbons. We've got a hydroxyl group in one and a methyl group in the other. So it's four methyl pent and two all. Here's another one. Okay, so the main chain, one, two, three, four, five carbons. Sometimes people mistakenly count this as a sixth one, but this bond here is going from a carbon to a hydroxyl group. So it's one, two, three, four, five carbons on the main chain, and that's a C bond, C to OH bond there. And we've got two branches, a methyl group there and a methyl group there. So what we've got is 3,4 dimethyl pentane one all. Seven, try this one. So our main chain, one, two, three, four carbons and a hydroxyl group on the second. So we've got butane two all. This one, So our main chain is one, two, three, four. And we've got a carboxyl group here and a methyl group here. So this is two methyl butanoic acid. Nine. Okay. Three carbons, one, two, three, and a double bond between two of the carbons. So this is in fact propene. 
and finally so we've got a ring of six carbons with an OH group of one of them oh. so we've got it says hexanol there but is of course cyclohexanol cyclohexanol okay right so here's some more questions for you to try this time I'll give you the name of the substance 2-methylpentane and you should now tie it and draw the skeletal formula of 2-methylpentane and then I shall do it so pentane 5 carbons so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and a methyl on the second carbon so you could have that as the second carbon or that so I'll just choose that one so there's 2-methylpentane okay try this one propane one all right. propane all three carbons so one two three and an OH on the first carbon so there we are propane one all Try to draw hex and three on. Okay, hex, so we've got six carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a ketone, and on the third carbon, let's go one, two, three. We've got a C double bond O. So there's hex and three on. Three methyl pentane. One, two, three, four, five. And in the third carbon, we've got a methyl group. That's three methyl pentane. Okay, tie ethanoic acid. So, right, well, we've got two carbons. And one of the carbons we've got a double bond O OH. So there's ethanoic acid. Methyl ethanoate. So there's methyl ethanoate. Seven propanol. One, two, three. And then off the end carbon, we've got a double bond O. Propene. There's propene. Buta 1,3-diene so we've got four carbons here and two double bonds one, two, three, four there's Buta 1,3-diene and finally three methyl butan 2 all Three methyl butane two all. So let's put in our butanol. One, two, three, four. And on the second carbon we've got an OH group. And on the third carbon we've got a methyl group. Okay. So if by the end of those, hopefully you're starting to get good at converting the names of the organic molecules into skeletal formula and also be able to convert skeletal formula into molecular formula or structural for full structural formula and the names of the organic molecules.
So by now you should be able to convert between structural and skeletal formulae for molecules with no more than 10 carbon atoms in the longest chain.